Hello. I'm going to talk to you today about the Australian movie Red Dog. Red Dog has been enormously successful in Australia and it looks like becoming a classic dog movie. The fascinating thing for us as screenwriters though is that it breaks all of the rules of conventional screenwriting theory. It has flashbacks. It has a group of protagonists not just one hero on a single linear chronological journey towards redemption. It has an unhappy ending and the character that we uh, might well think of as being the central character, the protagonist, that is the young man whom Red Dog chooses to be his master. This guy dies in the middle of the movie. I hope I haven't spoiled that for those of you who haven't seen it yet. So what are we, how are we to take this? Well, I think the interesting thing about this is to consider what would have happened to Red Dog the movie had it been written according to the conventional screenwriting theory rules. Well, for a start, it would not have been about a group. It would have been about one hero, and that hero would have been the young man whom Red Dog chose as his master. So the film would ha have to have opened on the arrival of that young man, the young American bus driver, into town. So we wouldn't have had any of the flashbacks from those miners, which are things much beloved of everybody who sees the film. The miners would have been in the film, but in the background. We wouldn't have followed them individually because the, the form says we need to follow a single hero on the, that hero's journey. Now, the film would not, I think, have ended tragically, or it would have avoided the weepy ending that it, that it has at the moment. And the other thing that I think would have happened would have been, certainly the, the guy wouldn't have died, but <laughs> he would have been around. Um, but I think that the existing plot whereby Red Dog is jealous of his master's girlfriend would have been handled very differently. I think Red Dog would have been on the girl's side and Red Dog and the girl would have worked together to teach the young um, bus driver about commitment. And I think the young bus driver would have learnt um, to become a better person through his dealings with Red Dog and he would have ended up happily with the girl. That's what I think would have happened. Now, would we be happy with that? Would it be a better film? No. If you're thinking it sounds a lot like a cliché, that's because there are a lot of films like that. And probably the reason that there are a lot of films like that is because people are being told that this is the way that you do it. I would suggest this is another very strong reason for us to question whether that single linear chronological one hero on a single journey model is the only one that we can use because Red Dog proves that it isn't.